Yeah, is this a new fish? Is this the new black moor? What's up guys? As some of you can remember, the black moors that I adopted, or I guess you could call it as someone brought to me as surrendered, they both died. And I got kind of depressed and I took it upon myself to go and make a journey to find another black moor just because um, I felt really guilty about the fish dying in my hands. And I, f I figured Avery would like going to find a new fish. And yes, she did love it. As you can tell, she's pooped. So I'm going to take extra precaution in acclimating this Blackmore goldfish and I'm just, I've done a lot of research since then and I feel like the fish dying was, uh, it, it wasn't good but I learned a lot because I took it, I took it personal to myself and uh, I'm going to do a much better job this time. So let's dive in to taking care of the Blackmore goldfish and I'll walk you through how I'm gonna acclimate this fish and getting him inside the tank. Oh, and by the way, um. I went to three different fish stores, local fish stores, and I couldn't find them. And lo and behold, I had to go to the old trustworthy PetSmart. So um, for some of you guys thinking, oh, he's too good for PetSmart, that's completely not true. I still buy lots of fish from PetSmart. And um, yeah, let's just dive right into this. Yeah, is this a new fish? Is this the new black moor? Is that the new black moor? <laughs> But the fish is over here, yeah. I decided to go the floating route and let the water temperature acclimate, and then I'm just going to dump the bag. I know that some of you guys would truly disagree with that method, but it's just the one I decided upon. Um, I have done the plop and drop method, but this is going to be the route I go. Uh, God bless Avery. She's just uh, at that age where she's just in love with this. I got to get her into these fish, guys. I got to have it happen. So um, releasing the Blackmore goldfish now. And uh, I'm really praying that I'm going to have some better luck here because like I told you guys, both of them died last time. And I'm just going to try really hard to get these ones. And of course, the Shabunkin goes right after it. And just so you know, the Shabunkin will be removed from this tank just because um, there's just they're not good tank mates together. So this is going to be my setup for my fancy goldfish. And what my plans are, I'm going to order some Oranda, some Ranchu, maybe uh, just this 75 gallon tank is essentially just going to be devoted to fancy goldfish. And like I told you, the Shabunkin goldfish is going to come out just because they're not the most suitable tank mates. And yes, I just saw a small little African cichlid baby in there. That's gonna also have to be removed. Hey guys, what's up? I am back and it feels good to be back. I apologize, I took about two weeks off and to be completely honest, I just had to step away from the internet for a little while. So um, what I've been up to, always fish keeping guys. My life revolves around fish keeping and sometimes YouTube gets in the way of my fish keeping and a lot of YouTubers talk about that and sometimes uh, you let making videos come first before fish keeping and then you gotta step back and be like, whoa, like. I'm not taking care of my fish, and the whole reason I YouTube is about my fish. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I just had to take a little break, man. It's that simple. People are blowing me up. Uh, I'm back, I promise. There's gonna be shop updates. It's getting nice outside. Mind is blowing up. Um, anyways, the black moor goldfish. I know this is kind of boring for some of you guys, and you're like, ah, goldfish, goldfish. I'm not into goldfish, but guys, I am. So. Uh, if you don't like this video, then don't watch it. It's that simple. I like goldfish, and maybe that's not manly enough for you. Um, I have I have tattoos. I like goldfish. I still like cool cars. What the heck am I even talking about anymore? Okay, the Blackmore goldfish. It's a fancy goldfish. Essentially, it's like a telescope goldfish. It has protruding eyes, and it has a velvety black coloration. It's basically like a telescope goldfish with a velvet black coloration. I'm not even sure why it's like its own species in the industry, but it is. So as far as taking care of them, this is super simple. Some things go along with fancy goldfish. They have their own set of problems and I wanna talk about that. So first of all, tank size. Um, this fish grows around four to six inches long. Uh, tank size is huge with goldfish. Goldfish are super, super messy. Everybody knows that. Um, probably one of the most messy fish in the industry, that or koi, because they're just constantly sifting through the substrate and it's it just gets super nasty. Um, let's let's jump to some footage and take a look at my black moor instead of just listening to you or watching me just babble here. 
I also wanted to mention that I have a Goldfish Facebook group. It's called Goldfish Keepers, and there's 50,000 plus members and growing. And our admins and moderators are tremendous. They know way more about Goldfish than I do, even personally. So, um, but yeah, like I said, Black Moors, Fancy Goldfish are super messy fish, so the biggest tank possible. Uh, arguing about tank size is a constant fight that we are that we have going on in the group. Uh, we always we usually tell people 40 gallon breeder minimum if you're keeping fancy goldfish and then you know there's so many different equations it's it's realistically the biggest tank you can have or get and just be ready to be doing water changes because goldfish are extremely messy and uh, when it comes to fancy goldfish like the blackmore goldfish they suffer from constipation and they also have swim bladder issues so this means that um, you're going to want to possibly get into the routine of feeding your goldfish a pee. De-shell the pee and feed it to them. It's it's. If you have any questions, uh, look up videos on that, but I'm just going to leave it at that. It's pretty simple. Also, maybe fast your fish once a week, meaning don't feed it. And also, if you're feeding floating pellets or just pellets in general or just food in general, try to make sure that the food sinks. And what you can do is throw it in a water dish and let it soak up some water for a couple hours and then throw it into the tank because when they're eating the food at the surface, they're also gulping air sometimes with the food and that can really screw up their swim bladder. So. Uh, the biggest tank you can get your hands on. We talked about the food. Um, look up some in-depth uh, food recipes you can make. Also look into the rapashi foods. The rapashi foods are probably one of the number one foods we tell people to feed their black moors or just fancy goldfish in general. Um, North Finn also has some good good brand goldfish food and also Omega-1, but be careful because some of the mainstream goldfish, air quotes, goldfish food brands are just, uh, they're, they're not the best foods for goldfish, kind of like a lot of the fish foods out there. Also, I, all, I I need to talk about tank mates because this is probably the second most asked question in goldfish keepers. What other fish can I keep with my fancy goldfish? And the answer is just stick to other fancy goldfish because problems occur when you add in other types of fish, mainly due to aggression and swim speeds. And a lot of fancy goldfish also have very poor eyesight, meaning that you know, they just can't see all that great. And also be careful what decorations you have in your tank because they can run into them and damage their eyes. It's not uncommon to see a Blackmore goldfish blind because it's ran into decorations or what have you. A lot of people mistake fancy goldfish for being stupid, but the fact is that they just have uh, pretty poor eyesight to be completely honest and it's not to be misjudged uh, as being stupid but when you keep them with like a shabunkin in my case in the other tank obviously the shabunkin is a much more agile fish and you can even see in this tank here there is regular uh, regular goldfish in there and they're always going to be more opportunistic when it comes to feeding and the fancies aren't going to get enough food so uh, basically I'm just preaching here guys uh, it's it's a huge deal though when keeping fancy goldfish. I was gonna talk about some of the sicknesses and illnesses that fancy goldfish get, and especially black moors, but I decided that this video is almost 10 minutes long and it's probably starting to get boring, so I think I'm gonna do a live stream I may this week and uh, just completely devote it to illnesses like when it comes to black moors, one of the common ones is changing colors. People always ask, well, why is my black moor changing orange? That doesn't necessarily mean it's an illness. Um, white spots, ick, uh, fungus, which I actually dealt with. And it's, uh, uh, but yeah, look, if you're watching this video in the future or past tense, however you want to look at it, there will be a, de a video devoted to black moor illnesses or just maybe fancy goldfish illnesses and disease in general. So I'm really excited guys. Springtime's here and uh, I'm getting new fish. I just set it up a planted tank that I am, I got a cool light and I'm diving deep into planted tank or plants and I'm just, I'm overly excited. I'm going to get back into this video thing. There's a lot of construction going on in the shop. I decided to build a wall going down the middle of the shop, uh, but I'm not gonna get down that wormhole right now. I promise you, more videos are coming. I apologize for the little uh, time gap there, but 
I just had to step away from the internet for a little bit because the trolls were starting to get to me. I had some fish die and uh, my wife got into a car accident. There's just a kind of a lot of things happening and I deserved a little vacation, right? <sighs> All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you've ever kept Blackmore goldfish. Um, if you like fancies, what's your fa favorite fancy goldfish? I need some help on a good place to buy fancy goldfish because I was gonna go with King Koi, but I, it's, it's a hard decision and you should help me decide in the comments below where you bought your fancy goldfish from. They're extremely expensive, I realize. So it's it's crazy too. Like, and if you and if you buy a, a pretty large goldfish, it's gonna be expensive to ship it. All right, guys, I'm rambling. I am out of here.